Good morning, friends. Greetings and welcome to The Bright Side, your nutritional program dedicated to the understanding of the vast world of nutrition and nutritional supplementation. I'm your host, Pharmacist Ben, nutritional pharmacist from Boulder, Colorado. I specialize in using nutritional supplements where other healthcare practitioners use toxic pharmaceutical drugs and often deadly medical procedures. If you suspect that there are natural nutritional roads to your health and vitality and well-being and to addressing your health challenges, whatever they may be, but you don't know where to begin, you have come to the right place. As you listen to The Bright Side every day, you are more and more in control of your body, you are more and more knowledgeable, and you know you can overcome any health issue. That is why we are here every day on The Bright Side, helping clear up the sometimes confusing world of nutrition and nutritional supplementation. Over the last 29 years of practicing pharmacy, I have seen drug-free recoveries from diabetes and hypertension and obesity and skin diseases like psoriasis, eczema, rosacea, acne, digestive ailments, autoimmune issues of all kinds, recoveries that by the standards of modern medicine can only be called a miracle. But what is in the world of the body, what is in the world of biology, standard operating procedure because the human biological system is a healing system, a regenerating system. It is designed divinely to heal and renew itself on a moment-to-moment -moment basis. And while some folks may call that healing, renewing, regenerating system a miracle, it really is just the way the body works. If you have questions about health or nutrition or prescription drugs, we are your go-to. We are here for you on the Bright Side. We love hearing from you. 844-236-6010 is our number. If you have questions about health, nutrition, prescription drugs, if you want to get off your meds and get on a good nutritional supplement program, if you have a success story, we love hearing success stories. Or if you just want to contribute to the conversation, 844-236-6010 is our number. If you want to purchase any of the longevity products that you hear advertised or recommended on the program, please call the Brightside Ben phone team at 866-735-2470. That's 866-735-2470. You can also head over to my blog, brightsideben.com, pharmacistben.com, and criticalhealthnews.com, my blogs, which we update regularly with news stories as well as blog posts. Thank you to John T. Collier and Robert Lundgren who set that up. You can also head over to benfuchsarchives.com. Thank you to Peter in the UK for set that one up. And that one has a search engine if you miss a program. You can, uh, as an archive with a search engine if you miss a program, you can uh, search for various topics and check out our shows. we got four, probably five years of archives at benfuchsarchives.com and also brightsideben.com. And if you want to purchase any of our truth treatment products, including retinol 5% gel for hyperpigmentation, we've been talking about pigmentation problems now for a couple of weeks. We'll continue talking about that, how it relates to the inside of the body. But if you're interested in addressing your dark spots or melasma or post-inflammatory hyperpigmentation. If you had an acne breakout or you had a surgical procedure done and now you have what's called post-inflammatory hyperpigmentation, that's darkness that appears after the inflammation uh, subsides. Retinol is an amazing way to treat it topically and it's not poisonous like the other hydroquinone type of uh, ingredients that you use and it is super, super effective. In fact, it is more effective than hydroquinone. You could find out all about retinol 5% with 25% vitamin C. No preservatives, no fragrances, no perfumes, no emulsifiers, no surfactants, non-irritating. You can find out all about it and all the Truth Treatment products at truthtreatments.com. Truthtreatments.com. All right, we're talking hyperpigmentation as an aspect of internal breakdown. This is the theme that we have here in, uh, in the last few months that we've been talking about skin care. The theme is that skin is part of the inside of the body. It just shows up. It just looks like it's on the outside. If you've got a skin health problem, you've got an internal problem. Very few skin issues are topical issues. Why don't we hear about this? Well, people make a lot of money selling skincare products, and they're not going to tell you that your uh, hyperpigmentation or your acne or your eczema or your whatever it is, your uh, topical product, a uh, topical condition is an internal condition because they're going to sell you a product. I got an email here yesterday. Uh, oh, by the way, uh, Beverly Hills MD, some people told me the Beverly Hills MD, and I did mention this. Um, first, I said that it was not a Beverly Hills doctor. It is a Beverly Hills doctor, just, to, just in terms of... Uh, of correcting a mistake that I made. 
Uh, it's still a silly product, but the, the MDs are indeed from Beverly Hills. Just want to clear that up. Got another email here. Uh, what's your under eye circle type? So many people have pigment uh, have a discoloration under their eyes, and they think it's a pigment problem, or they have bagginess under their eyes, and they'll think it's a pigment problem. So no surprise. Companies like uh, companies uh, that sell their products at stores like Sephora, who sent me this uh, this particular ad from YourBeauty.com. What's your under eye circle type? And they're supposedly, according to these dim, dimwits at yourbeauty.com, there's different types of under eye circles. And you, of course, you buy different products for your different under eye circles. And I say dimwits, and I mean it yourbeauty.com dimwits, or they're deceitful. I don't know which one. I'm going to give them the benefit of the doubt and say they're just dimwits. Under eye circles are not a topical issue. You don't use a cream for under eye circles. They're a circulatory issue. And in addition to being dim-witted, it's kind of mean-spirited. Because if you have under eye circles and you have a circulatory problem, that means you got a kidney issue, you got a blood issue, you got a heart issue, you got a pressure issue. And all of these can be fatal. All of these are going to lead to your early demise and, uh, and increase your risks of degenerative diseases, heart disease, kidney disease, etc. Under eye circles are serious business. They're an internal problem. They're not a skin problem. And any bonehead who sends you an email or tells you to put a cream on for your under eye circles is not only a bonehead, but they're playing with your life. Under eye circles are a sign that something is getting into the blood, and this is so, so important. Failure to heal, degeneration, under eye circles, arthritis, macular degeneration. I get macular degeneration letters every day. All of these are signs of dirty blood, toxicity. This is the theme that runs behind, the thread that runs within all health issues, dirty blood. No matter what it is, a skin issue, internal issue, blood pressure issue, heart issue, autoimmune issue, dirty blood. And, by the way, if you've been given an anti-inflammatory drug for any health condition that you have, and that includes prednisone and Motrin and Naproxen, if you've been given an anti-inflammatory drug, you can rest assured that your symptoms are related to stress because that's what inflammation is. Inflammation, swelling. Fluid accumulation. These are all the manifestation of a stress response. So if you've been given an anti-inflammatory for your health challenge, guaranteed you have some kind of burden on the body. If you hear the word immunity, as in autoimmunity or immune disease, guaranteed you've got some kind of emergency in the system, inflammation, degeneration. If these, if these are part of the name of your so-called dis-ease, if it has the word degeneration in it, as in macular degeneration, or if they've, they've given you an anti-inflammatory drug like prednisone or, or Motrin, or if you hear the word immunity in your health issue as an autoimmune problem, you've got a burden, a stress, an emergency in the system. And the intelligent, non-medical thing to do, intelligence and equals non-medical, the intelligent, non-medical strategy is to figure out what the heck is getting into the body. And when we talk about getting into the body, when we talk about the body manifesting an emergency response, a survival response, a stress response, we're talking about the blood. And whenever we say something is getting into the body, what we mean is the blood. And this is what's behind everything, you guys. Everything that involves a degenerative condition, chronic degenerative disease, which is the vast majority of our health challenges. It all has to do with a body that is trying to protect itself. It's trying to get by. It's a sign of the stress response. And this is the secret of healing that your medical professional doesn't tell you because he doesn't know. Well, probably because he doesn't know. It could be he doesn't want to tell you, but probably he doesn't know. In the realm of chronic degenerative disease, the vast majority of our health concerns, not infections here. I'm not talking about infections. I'm not talking about trauma. I'm talking about chronic degenerative disease, diseases that just progressively get worse, that don't heal. Doctoring is about assessing sickness and then managing it. It's not about returning the body to a healthy state because that's not medicine's job. The, the part that gets me mad and why I sometimes get a little bit you know, angry here on the program and when I'm doing my talks is because doctors pretend to know and they're arrogant about it and the medical model is chauvinistic about it and attacks viciously anyone who tells, says something different. 
You can go to jail for saying something different if it regards cancer. There are people in jail because they said something different or opposing the medical model. There's even doctors in jail because they had the nerve, they had the nerve to go against the, the standard medical dogma when it comes to cancer. Disease is a lifestyle issue and it's our business, chronic degenerative disease, even cancer. All right, we're back on the bright side. I am Pharmacist Ben. Thanks for joining us. We're on the air Monday through Friday, 8 to 9 Pacific and 10 to 11 Central Time, 24-7 on the archive page of brightsideben.com. Also, benfuchsarchives.com. You can purchase products right off the website. You can also go to brightside, uh, sorry, criticalhealthnews.com and also uh, pharmacistben.com. We blog on there and uh, post regularly. So you want to check that out on a regular basis. You can buy products any of the longevity products you're advertised or recommended on the program right off the website. You can also sign up to join the Brightside Ben team, and I'd love to have you on my team, 866-735-2470. If you want to talk to somebody directly, 866-735-2470. And if you're interested in purchasing any of our Truth Treatment skin health products, including the Retinol 5% Gel or the Truth Serum or Omega-6 Healing Cream or our Truth Balm, all vitamin C dense, with the good stuff, not the cheap vitamin C, the good stuff, you can find out all about it at truthtreatments.com, truthtreatments.com. That's plural, truthtreatments.com. Okay, so we're talking about hyperpigmentation, melasma, dark spots on the skin. Very common complaint, very frustrating complaint. Doctors have a tough time dealing with hyperpigmentation issues because once the pigment's on the skin, you guys, it's over. The trick to taking care of pigmentation issues is to take care of the stuff that's coming up tomorrow. Now, you can use some topical products that will help reduce hyperpigmentation, but like all skin issues, dark spots, melasma, hyperpigment, all are about an internal condition. And all internal conditions, in turn, are about dirty blood. There's nothing the medical model can do. In fact, drugs just make the blood dirtier, and surgeries just create more of an emergency response. How ironic that our medical strategies for taking care of the body make the body worse, with the exception of antibiotics for infections and, and uh, you know, stitching people up for emergency trauma kinds of issues. All our strategies, A-L-L, all our medical strategies, capital A, L-L, all our medical strategies for dealing with chronic degenerative disease make the body worse worse. This is not me just saying this. This is logic. The body now has to process toxins. You've suppressed chemistry. You've stopped the body from doing what it needs to do. How can that ever, ever, ever be in our health interest? Do you need emergency medicine every now and again? Yes. Are you, am I thrilled that we have pain pills available to us? Yes. I keep Percocet in my medicine cabinet and I recommend everybody does. You never know when you're going to need some pain pills. So praise God for pain pills. You never know when you're going to need an antibiotic. It's a good thing we have them. But for chronic degenerative disease, your beta blockers, calcium channel blockers, diuretics, anti-inflammatories, immune suppressants, these all make the body worse. How can a medical professional who's sworn to take care of us, to help us, who takes money for it, use these kinds of strategies? Now, when it comes to, making the, when it comes to the creation of degenerative disease, doctoring can't do anything about it. As Dr. Andrew Wilde reminds us in his book, Spontaneous Healing, when it comes to degenerative disease, no cures are possible. And he's right. Of course, cures aren't possible because degenerative disease is about a breakdown process. The only way you, re you take care of a degenerative disease, you don't cure it, you reverse it. You troubleshoot it. You reverse engineer. I was talking to an engineer yesterday on the phone who had a health challenge. I love talking to engineers because they understand what I'm talking about. Well, we can all be engineers. You don't have to have an, a, a four-year degree. We can all understand the process of engineering and reverse engineering. You work backwards. All, if we're degenerating, all we got to do is figure out why we're not regenerating because the body's regenerative under healthy conditions, and it's always going to involve an element of survival or a stress response. Nutritional deficiency, that causes a stress response. Lack of oxygen, that causes a stress response. Mental and emotional issues, stress response. Toxicity, stress response. Sugar, stress response. Did you guys catch this latest thing from Coca-Cola? This one cracks me up. Coca-Cola funded research to show that it wasn't sugar that makes you gain weight. It's lack of exercise. Great. 
Sugar's no problem. Listen, sugar is an issue because it causes an emergency. Obesity is a manifestation of the stress response. If you can't lose weight and you've done everything you know to do to lose weight and you just the pounds just aren't coming off, you got a body that thinks it's protecting you from a famine. That's why we can't lose weight when we try. Now, a lot of people, they, they're obese and they've done all the dietary strategies and uh, taken the medicine. They've done everything they could do. They're resorting to, with the complicity of their medical professional, cutting themselves up, stapling their stomach because they just can't figure out how to lose weight. Well, guess what? If you can't lose weight, you got a classic sign of the emergency response. Pack that up in an envelope and mail it to your doctor. Tell him what I just said and see if he can deny that. Obesity, weight gain are one of the ways the body protects, ourself, protects us. It's one of the ways the body survives itself, survives famines. Well, there's no famines, but the body doesn't know that. Nutritional supplementation is important, not in a this for that way. Not so much, oh, I got this problem, what supplement do I take? This is the kind of letters I get all the time from folks who haven't heard this program or heard my presentations. They're under the impression that you do something called allopathic nutrition. Allopathy is Latin for against disease. Allopathy is the way the medical model works. It fights disease. There's a commercial now for all these people talking about how cancer is an enemy and cancer, you're not going to do this to me, as if cancer is somehow the outside coming in and, and attacking us. We have a model that is a wartime model. We have wars for everything. We got wars against cancer. We got wars on drugs. We got wars on terrorism. We got wars everywhere because we have a model where everything is fighting everything else. The way you take care of disease is you don't fight disease. You reverse disease. You work backwards. The reason nutritional supplements are important is because they help the body get strong again, not because they cure disease. Every once in a while, there'll be these studies that come out where doctors or, or scientists or researchers will use omega-3s for heart disease, and they'll say, omega-3s don't work for heart disease. We proved it. Magnesium doesn't work. Or I'll have other people, doctors or, or people who know a little bit of health, they'll say, well, where are the studies that show omega-3s help with heart disease or with anything else? That's not how it works. Supplementation is important because we're not getting the stuff in our our food that's supposed to run our bodies. We make the body healthy with all these strategies we talk about here on the bright side. The body cures disease. God cures disease. The divine force cures disease because that's its nature to heal and regenerate. The secret to why we don't heal, even though we got more doctors per capita than any other uh, culture in the history of mankind, more drugs available to us, more fancy schmancy diagnostics and surgical procedures, and we all have our Obamacare and our insurance, but we're still sick. We're still dropping dead of diseases after six decades of life. Most of us, you know, many of us anyway, get 60 or 70 years. That's so sad. That is so tragic. And then we rot the last 30 years. That's even worse. The reason we don't access or leverage our 120 years of God-given existence, Doc Wallach says 150 years, but it's certainly more than 60 or 70. And the reason we decay the last half of it is hidden. Despite the fact we have all these doctors, it's hidden in the very word disease, dis-ease, lack of ease. It's hidden in the word. It's hidden in plain sight. That's the way the models work. That's the way the disempowering paradigms, all of it, government paradigms, political paradigms, legal paradigms, medical paradigms, they all work by, by taking things that are the, the truth and the facts and they hide them in plain sight. The secret to reversing disease is hidden in plain sight. It's right in the word. Dis-ease. How do you reverse disease? You go back to ease. And that's where nutritional supplementation and oxygenation and moving and mental, and mental strategies, emotional strategies, and spiritual strategies come in. All right, I'm Pharmacist Ben. You're listening to The Bright Side. We'll be back right after this. Don't go away. All right, we're back on The Bright Side. I'm Pharmacist Ben. Got lines open for you. 844-236-6010 is our number. Hang on if you're on hold. Get to you in just a moment. If we left you on hold in the past and didn't get your call... Please, uh, please give us a shout now. We do have lines open for you. Tell our call screener that we left you on hold in the past, and we'll get you uh, first up. FDA clears. Check this out. This is so cool. Spiritam. Levy tyracetam. It's an anti-inflammatory. It sounds like. Actually, it's, a, it's, a seizure, it's for seizure disorders. It sounds like uh, some kind of anti-inflammatory, which makes sense because seizures have an element of inflammation, which has an element of stress and survival, as we just spoke. Oh, this is a really cool one. 
Leva, Levitaracetam, Levitaracetam is how you say it, okay? Spiritam, expected to be available in the first quarter of 2016. All right, so far so good, just normal. Nothing spectacular about that. It's, a, it's indicated for partial onset seizures, myoclonic seizures, epilepsy kinds of things, which are, as we say, inflammatory. But this is the most amazing thing about this, about this new drug. Check this out, made by Apprecia Pharmaceuticals. It's 3D printed. How do you like that? It's the first three-dimensional printed oral drug. Have you guys heard of this thing, 3D printing? 3D printing is when you get a machine, you stick it in your computer, you press a couple buttons, and stuff comes out of the machine. It's printed. Things are printed, not paper. You can print forks and spoons. You can print widgets and screws. You can print tools. You can print parts for your car. This is the latest, the latest uh, ad, advan uh, technological advance. There's actually, I, w I remember talking about 3D printing on a radio show I was doing a few years ago, maybe five or six years ago, or actually about six or seven years ago, and I was blown away when I first heard about 3D printing. I was like, are you kidding me? I can print whatever I want? You can print food, you can print hamburgers. That's how food is gonna be d delivered to us in the future, it's gonna be printed. Well. I was blown away by this eight years ago. Now there are magazines and bookstores 3D, dedicated to 3D printing, dedicated to all kinds of things that you can print. You could print statues and toys and, and devices and parts for your computer and for uh, hardware in your house. This is amazing. Now you can print 3D drugs. You can have three-dimensionally printed drugs. This is the pharmacy of the future. You're going to have it all in software. It's all going to be 3D printed. All. So we can, all in, in the effort to make sure we are all prescriptionized and drugged out uh, to our maximum capabilities, maximum capacities. All right, two new prescription, uh, two new uh, acne products, non-prescription acne products from a company called Galderma. They're not new because there's nothing new under the sun, as they say. There's nothing new. This, uh, these are new products, but the ingredients aren't new. Half percent salicylic acid, which, by the way, is very effective for dealing with acne, but not half percent. You need two. Two percent is all you're going to get, but you really need three, four, five percent salicylic acid. Have a pharmacist make it for you. If they don't know how to make it, have them call me and I'll tell them. So this is from Galderma. It's a drug company, Galderma. They got two new acne products with the same old, same old, same old. 2.6% benzoyl peroxide. Great. Same stuff you buy in the drugstore. East Indian sandalwood oil. Really? Are you serious? East, East in, it's not just sandalwood oil, by the way. It's East Indian sandalwood oil. And then French clay. That's their cleanser, and that's what they're all proud of. Why are they proud of it? Because they don't understand that acne is an internal condition. Check back on our shows, the seven different types of acne, if you want to know how to deal with acne. Of course, we'll probably be talking about it uh, in the future here when we finish talking about hyperpigmentation. So the secret why we're not healing as well as we should is hidden in the word dis-ease. Illness is dis-ease. It's a body out of ease, a body that's freaked out. Calm the body down with good nutrition, nutritional supplements, eating less food, more oxygen, staying away from sugar or as best as you can, and certainly by staying away from your prescription drugs and even from your doctor. That's probably a good idea too. One of the major causes of stress, no, the major cause of stress, not one of, the major cause of stress is dirty blood. And the blood gets dirty from a lot of, uh, through a lot of uh, routes. There's a lot of routes of administration of poison and toxins and dirt into the blood. Digestion clearly is, is the most important. And we'll talk about that tomorrow how to clean the blood, what dirty blood is really about, and how it relates to hyperpigmentation, excess pigmentation. All right, our number, 844-236-6010. If you want to join the Brightside Ben team and help spread the word about how important and powerful a good nutritional supplement program is, if you want some part-time income or full-time income for that matter, you can uh, call the phone team at 866-735-2470. Love to have you on my team. You can also sign up right off brightsideben.com, pharmacistben.com, or criticalhealthnews.com. Jim in Michigan, good morning. Welcome to the Brightside. Hey, good morning, Ben. How are you doing? Doing good. What's up, my friend? Well, um, you were talking, I mean, I'm, it's just amazing I'm calling today because I'm having a, an issue with uh, dry skin, but it's just around my lips and it's, let's say right up above the, the uh, mustache line with the crease yeah. there. You sure it's and just, dr is it just dry or is there rashiness or bumpiness or anything like that? Well, no, it's red 
uh, you know, after I shave, it turns red in those areas. And if I don't, uh, you know, I've been putting coconut oil on it. That's... But when it does so, it, after I shave, which you think that's when the skin comes off, but then about an hour later, it'll all be flaky in those areas. Okay, well, flaky is different from rashy. Rashy is an immune response. Flaky is a lack of moisture factors in the skin. So let's address each of those. Dry and flaky uh, first. Dry and flaky, you want to think about fats and fatty vitamins. The skin is very thin in that area, so it makes sense that that would be the area where you'd notice it more than any other area. The thinner the, thinner the skin, the more sensitive it's going to be. And on the upper lip, you have very thin skin. Actually, in that whole periorbital around the mouth area, periorbital means around the mouth, the around the mouth area is very, very thin, so it makes sense that you would have problems in that area if you're going to have problems. So when you have a dry or flaky, think fats. And you want to think fats from two directions. Number one, you want to think about fats from an intake point of view. And number two, you want to think about fats from an absorption point of view. And they are both important, intake and absorption. And when I say fats, I'm primarily talking fatty vitamins and essential fatty acids. So the first thing to do is to take the stuff. Get yourself on the ultimate EFAs, three in the morning, three in the afternoon, three at night, nine a day. Uh, and divide the doses up, try to take them with some meals, and it would help you if you use some ultimate enzymes with your fats. Uh, vitamin A is the key, the most important skin vitamin. It's a fatty vitamin, and let me say it again, it's the most important skin vitamin. Arguably, vitamin C is close, and it's up there, but I, I have to give the nod to vitamin A. Uh, wow. And you want to make sure you're using 20,000 international units a day. Most supplements aren't going to give you that much, so you've got to go out of your way to get 20,000 IU a day of vitamin A. Don't worry about any boneheaded medical or nutritional professional who says to you that it's too much. It's not too much. 20,000 a day, but you've got to take it with your, all your other vitamins. You don't want to just take vitamin A. Vitamin A and zinc go together, and zinc also has a role to play in keeping skin cells healthy. So make sure you're using 50, that's 5 zero, milligrams of zinc with your vitamin A. And then it wouldn't hurt you to use, make sure you're getting your other fatty vitamins either. 400 IU a day of vitamin E, along with vitamin D, which you can either get through your uh, omega fatty acids, your ultimate EFAs. Ultimate EFAs will get you some vitamin D. Personally, I think the sun is the best place to get your vitamin D assuming you don't have rashy or eczema problems because uh, sometimes, uh, well, you know, the sun can help there too. Just get, it, get yourself a little bit of sun and then maybe 5,000, anywhere from two to 5,000 micrograms of vitamin K. Now, if you have an absorption problem, you'll know because you'll be gassy and bloaty after you eat certain foods or you'll have loose stools or um, you'll have some kind of digestive issue, heartburn. If that's the case, you want to make sure you're using your bioluminightly essence with your fats. There's a very important relationship between fat absorption fats in general and probiotics are good bacteria. Got to take a break, Jim, so don't go away. Got a couple more things to say. If you're on hold, don't go away. We'll get to you too when we come back from our break. I'm Pharmacist Ben. You're listening to The Bright Side on the Genesis Communications Network. We'll be back after this. Welcome back to The Bright Side. I'm Pharmacist Ben. Thanks for joining us. Got a note here from, uh, from a gal who wants to know about asthma. She says, where is she here? Deborah says, greetings. I need some alternative suggestions for my asthma attacks, which luckily aren't frequent. Asthma, classic, classic, classic example of an, auto, of an immune problem. Not auto, but an immune problem problem, a stress problem, an emergency problem, look to the immune system, which is located in the digestive tract, especially if you're getting flares. Notice when you get your asthmatic flare. What did you eat? Now, you can have exercise-induced asthma. You can have asthma based on toxicity that comes in through stuff you breathe, of course. But for the most part, you're looking at an immune system load that starts off with digestive problems. Not, shouldn't be a surprise to anybody who listens to, to this program. Uh, it all begins in the digestive system. And I'm not Mr. Food Nazi guy either. That's not my job. I'm just sitting here to say, I'm just sitting here to tell you that if you have a health challenge, the first thing to do is focus on the stuff that's getting into the blood through the digestive system. Considering we're all eating foods that didn't exist 200 years ago, that shouldn't be a surprise. It should be just pretty much common knowledge, to, and certainly to any healthcare professional. But if you know a little bit about the body, it, you could see how there'd be a relationship between the foods we're eating and our health challenges, considering the foods we're eating 
didn't exist 200 years ago, which to the human body, which is millions of years old, that's like a blip. That's like a split second, 200 years. Anyway, Jim, in Michigan, focus on fats, essential fatty acids, your ultimate EFAs. Make sure you're getting vitamin A, 20,000 IU a day. Take it with zinc. Throw in your other fatty vitamins, vitamin D from the sun, maybe 2,000 to 5,000 milligram, uh, micrograms a day of vitamin K2, and then uh, vitamin E, 400 IU a day. Coconut oil will be a little bit soothing on the skin, but it's not necessarily going to help you much. If you really want some, some healing, go to truthtreatments.com and get my omega-6 healing cream. Now, if you have a digestive problem, Jim, you're going to know it because you're going to feel uncomfortable after you eat certain foods. Does that sound familiar at all? Uh, not really. Um, okay. All right. That doesn't mean it's I, not uh, there. That doesn't mean it's just not maybe not blatant, but focus on that. Look for that. You want to find that. And you also want to look for other health challenges. How old are you, Jim? I'm, so I'll be 67 this September. Okay, so you want to look to see if there's any other kinds of health issues that you have. Just the way we live our lives over the course of time, it's 67. You know, you've had six plus decades to to do whatever you're doing. If you're doing something wrong, I'm not saying you are, but if you are, you want to know what those those challenges, are, what those issues are going to be. So look for blood sugar problems, fatigue issues, maybe rashes on other parts of your body. Um, if your hair is falling out, if you got prostate problems, any of these things t- would tell you or information that there's something else percolating in the body. If there's nothing there and it's just a skin issue, then the fatty vitamins and the digestive strategies are going to help you. And if you really want instant relief, use uh, my Omega-6 healing cream, which you can find out about it on truthtreatments.com. Can I tell you uh, something that really amazing happened this uh, summer up here where sure. I live? Uh, sure. Uh, I just found out that our old buddy, Doc Wallach, just purchased yeah. a residence up here in my area. In Michigan? He's about, yeah, he's, uh, he's about... Uh, Maybe seven miles from me. I've already gone to a couple of his conferences. Oh, get to know him. Get to know him. He's a be- uh, just a beautiful, beautiful human being. Aside from being a polymath and absolutely brilliant, I mean, over the top brilliant, on not just in health, in terms of history and sociology and politics. Oh, yeah. I mean, this guy knows everything. Get to know him, and he's very accessible, very friendly guy. All right. Yeah, yeah, Thanks. Yeah. For- actually, Are you in the Upper Peninsula? Tell- I'm sorry, Jim. Upper no, Peninsula? No, I'm about uh, 35 miles from the Mackinac Bridge in Livingston on the Harbor Springs, God's well, country. That sounds beautiful. Good for you. Well, enjoy hey, your ben. winter, though. Enjoy your winter coming up. Hey, hey Ben, does, uh, does organic carrots have a lot of vitamin A in it? Tons of vitamin A, but a lot of sugar, too, so you've got to be a little bit careful with your carrots. Best, in, best, best to mix your carrots up with savory, with onions and garlic and that kind of stuff to take the edge off some of that sugar. But carrots are a great food, aside from the sugar. Thanks, All ben. right. Thank you. Have a beautiful day, Jim. Good, good to talk to you. I'm glad you called. RC in California, welcome. What's up, my friend? RC? Do we have RC? Ben, oh, you did, I got good news. You say RC. Hey, I was just reading something on uh, hydrogen-rich water. All right. Well, what do you think of that? Well, you know, it's not bad. Hydrogen water is H2O, as everybody probably knows, but hydrogen-rich water has extra hydrogen, and hydrogen hydrogen is very powerful stuff. It's an antioxidant. Uh, there's a lot of good literature about hydrogen hydrogen-rich water. That's hard to say for some reason, uh, and it's not necessarily as bad, but. You got bigger fish to fry, RC. Nobody has a deficiency in hydrogen. Hydrogen is the most abundant element on the planet in the universe, and nobody has a hydrogen deficiency. We do have vitamin C deficiencies and vitamin E deficiencies and uh, mighty 90 essential nutrient deficiencies. So that, that to me, that's a much bigger problem than hydrogen issues, although hydrogen is is an antioxidant, and there is actually some good literature that I've read about hydrogen-rich water. Thanks for your call, RC. Is that good? To help okay, you? thank you, Ben. All right, take care, man. All right, Stephen in Texas, what's cooking? Welcome to the bright side. Ben? Hey, Stephen, what's up, man? How you doing? Uh, hold on a second, let me get my. Stephen? Oh, okay, yes, yeah, great. Um, okay, so direct to the point type for a type 1 diabetic, um, is there a possibility if there's an excessive amount of um, carbohydrates, but but I mean sort of good car- carbohydrates or relatively good, um, like apples and, and carrots as opposed to refined um, or any bread. Um, is there a possibility of developing insulin resistance when, of course, it's not your own insulin, but you know, um, yes, uh, yes. To short answer, yes. You know, is it you? Do you have? To, are, are, is, are you talking about yourself or somebody you know? Yes, yes, 
Yes. Have you noticed that your insulin dose has to keep going up? No, I, actually, I, I don't have that many a day, so it's... Okay, it's well, it's going to happen. You sound young. You, you're, you sound like you're not even 30, am I correct? Oh, my gosh, no. Um, I'm way over 30. Are you? You um, sound very young. Yeah. How old are you? <laughs> uh, I'm 40, 40. Really? Okay, well, that's great. You, know, sounds, you sound young. So here's the deal. <laughs> you will get insulin resistance, and they have to keep upping your dose on the insulin. All right, so type 1 diabetes is an autoimmune disease as opposed to type 2 diabetes, which is, as you point out, when your body just stops listening to insulin. Type 1 diabetes, your body doesn't make insulin. Type 2 diabetes is your body stops listening to insulin. They both have the effect of messing up your blood sugar. Oh, by the way, they used to tell you that once you have type 1 diabetes, it's over. Not true. All the latest literature on type 1 diabetes says, says that it is reversible, that beta cell, which I could, I could have told you that, everything's reversible. You have, uh, but now the science is, is corroborating that. Uh, the beta cells, those are the cells that make insulin and the cells that are, are attacked in the, in the particularly, uh, or the specific autoimmune disease called type 1 diabetes, they do regenerate as it turns out. And, you know, just common sense would tell you that, but now we know it scientifically. So just Google beta cell regeneration, go to scholar.google.com. Com. Also, this is so important, and if you've listened to this program, it's a no-brainer, but for people who you know, are a little skeptical about what I talk about, now we know that there is an intimate connection between probiotics, dysbiosis, messed up gut bacteria, digestive health, and diabetes, both type 1 and type 2. So for diabetes, focus on digestive health. Remember, our triangle of disease. Diabetes is the, po is the second point on the triangle of disease. The first point is the digestive system. So as always, with any health challenge, if you have type 1 or type 2 diabetes, biolumin nightly essence, digestive enzymes, the ultimate enzymes, apple cider vinegar, Google apple cider vinegar in diabetes. Apple cider vinegar is a great way to stabilize blood sugar. More fiber, digestive health, and then start working on, on your blood sugar. And then the last thing that you said, uh, Steve, was about the fruit. Apples and carrots, and, and this also goes for um, our caller from Michigan, Jim, you know, carrots have lots of good stuff in them, but they're also very high in sugar. So if you're going to do your carrots, do them with more savory kinds of veggies, do them with more fiber, or with fiber, I should say, and then try not to do carrot juice, which is just pure sugar. If you're going to eat the carrot, eat the whole carrot. If something tastes sweet, that's sugar. In particular, in the case of fruit and, and carrots, you're dealing with fructose, and fructose has problems associated with it that even sucrose doesn't have. So you got to be extra careful. You'll get fiber with your carrots, and you'll get other nutrients in there for sure that'll help you process the sugar. So it's not like a candy bar, but it's still something that you want to be respectful of. I'm sorry. Go ahead, Steve. Right, and I, I do all that. So what would you, just shooting from the hip, what would you say is a maximum percentage of calories or whatever? There's, that doesn't work that way. There's no, there's no maximum perception. Percep, uh, uh, there's no maximum amount of calories that you have to do. But what you want to do is you want to eat no, 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 minimum. No, 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 that, that, no, no, no. Uh, that are that are those kind of um, vegetables that are or, or as little as you have to, as little as you have to. I, I can't tell you an exact number. As little as you have to, a bite, a two, a, a bite or two, a carrot, maybe a couple carrots, that kind of thing. I gotta go, Steve. We're out of time. But thanks for your call. I hope I helped you out on that. All right, I'm Pharmacist Ben. Thanks for listening, friends. To the Bright Side, we'll be back at you tomorrow with more good health information. Check out my websites, PharmacistBen.com, BrightSideBen.com, CriticalHealthNews.com. And if you want to purchase any truth treatment products, including our retinol gel, go to TruthTreatments.com. Thanks for listening. We'll talk to you all later. Have a spectacular, awesome, wonderful day. I'm Pharmacist Ben. Bye for now.